Hello, today I'm colouring this little toxic potion digi. You can use the technique to colour liquids in a bottle or bubbles or glass. So, when you're colouring a solid object, you'll usually go to the edge of that object and start colouring the shadow and then go to the part of the object that is nearest the light source and colour the light. But with liquids or transparent objects, the light is passing through the object. So how do we do this? Well, the short answer is I don't even know. The light starts bouncing around all over the place and it's just not the same as the object, the, as a solid object. So what do we know? How can we communicate with our colouring that we're looking at a liquid, a bubble, or a transparent object. There does seem to be some shadow in there and sometimes that shadow follows the form of the object. Quite simply, you let your shadow and your light get lost in the object but still follow the form. So while I'm colouring and I'm sorry the, the voice isn't necessarily doing the same thing as the hands this time, uh, you can see that I take the shadow from the edge of the potion bottle um, I start with the B99 from Copic and I move the shadow in from the edge of the bottle and from the edge of the bubbles All right then what I do is I take a lighter shadow colour so I use the YG25 and I colour where the highlight would have been so it's just colouring the same as a solid object but putting your shadow not bringing your shadow to the edge of the object and that that gives you the effect that well your lights bouncing around inside the object rather than having a solid edge to to hit so this may not have been completely accurate but remember when you're colouring you're trying to communicate an idea you're not trying to render something perfectly your viewer must look at your art and recognise the idea and see something they like to look at and sometimes just being able to communicate an idea simply can make your art so much more beautiful and readable I've done the same thing with the glass I've brought the shadow in from the edge and made a lighter shadow on the other side. It's as if the shadow has bounced from one side of the bottle to the other. So that's about it for the technique and then you just blend it out. You can add some different coloured nuances. Uh, I think at some point I, I, I used uh, the BG colours from Copic. Um, to, to add a bit of a, a green hue and the yellow colours uh, to make the lighter colour of the toxic potion. I, th I think for anything that's supposed to be toxic green uh, it should be the more towards the yellow green but, but it, maybe it's just my preference. So uh, I've just noticed as well while, while I'm commenting that I should have made a highlight that goes all the way down the side of the bottle. Uh, it, it'll, be, um, it'll be at the end of the video. Um, what this will do is that it will give the highlight at, to the bottle and make the potion look at, that it's more inside the bottle. But I mean, <laughs> I didn't do this in that video. And if you know what I'm talking about, maybe you could do that in your project. Uh, also, you'll notice when I co colour the, um, the skull, uh, try and use a colour when you're colouring white rather than just making it grey or, or, um, or just leaving lots of things white. If you, if you look around you right now and you look at something that's, that's white on your desk or whatever, I'm looking at a mug, you'll notice that it's never just completely white. So using either a colour um, or, or even just a grey 
and then using highlights to to make it look very white that's pretty much the best thing you can do okay so this digi is available from twist tune uh, and it's part of the twist tune bundle category in this category each digi is one euro but you can select five digis and only pay one euro for all five if you use the code bundle b-u-n-d-l-e there are a lot of great little digis in this category and i usually put the digis that i find quite simple to draw but still have value for small projects so that's about it for today have a lovely day bye